Chao. Ow, boy. Ow, boy. Ow, boy. Ow, boy. Ow, boy. Ow, boy. That's the game we're playing today. Welcome, everybody. I'm so happy to get to play this game. Oh, man. This, uh... This game is this game is tight, you guys. I don't know how well it is. Uh, I knew about this game for a long while, for the last several years. Uh, got to play it myself in 2019 uh, in the summer. Uh, Gotta give shout out to my friend and collaborator on this channel, Leaving Nevada, who provided this game as a gift to me earlier in the year. Uh, it's a uh, it's. The game is incredibly good looking, pretty fun to get, play. The story gripped me, like, really amazingly. Like, I was, I was, uh, really only knew that it was gonna be a beautiful pixel art game with, uh, with a tight gameplay. I had no idea how, uh, how many feels I'd get from this one, so, uh, that's why I'm super happy to now do this on the channel. Like, easy, easy choice when I beat this game. I was like, ooh, I really want to record this game for you guys. This is a, uh, this is made by D-Pad Studio, a joint Norwegian-Texan uh, indie studio. And when I say indie, I mean that five guys worked on this for five years. Not, what? Not five years. I'm an idiot. Five guys worked on this for almost ten years. Let's be perfectly clear here. So... Let me just run down the names real quick here, since it's such a short list. Uh, this was worked on by Simon Stafnes Andersen and his brother Henrik Stafnes Andersen, and uh, Juremi Madsen, Adrian Bauer, and Jonathan Gear. And there was a sixth person on um, on the Owlboy website, Julianne Royce. I think I think she may do like PR stuff with them, but you know, might as well add her on the. On the end as well. I'm, I'm not sure if she worked on the original game, but because I only see that it's a five-man job, but uh, oh well, that's everybody who's connected with Owlboy and D-Pad, and uh, it was uh, if you wanna have a if you wanna have a freaking rough time, look up the Vice article about Owlboy just before it came out, like a 2016 article to read about the trials and tribulations these guys went through making this game. It was. Uh, it wasn't a labor of love. It was like a, um, <laughs> I'd say, toil of love. Uh, my uh, heart out, my heart goes out to these guys for um, sticking it through with this game. Cause uh, man, it's good in the end. Looks like I can only continue here. I have my old save. Oh wow, they are really pushing this here. Boom! There we go. Now I have to start fresh. I can do this. I can do this. Uh, yeah. It's a, not a super long game, so another little quick fix after still reeling from the juggernaut that was Yakuza 0, play something a little lighter. And I, since I've beaten this game, I know I should be able to beat this without any huge amounts of rage or like frustration, what I've been having lately. Although I will say there's a couple of parts in this game where um, I, you, I might lose my cool a little bit. I will try to stay cool, but um, I can't make any promises. Uh, because uh, the gameplay is um, it's pretty good, but I think that's the one area where it's a little lacking. It's a little sticky at times. It was for me anyway, and a couple of encounters in this game made me go like... Doo! We'll see how it goes on round two. Now we want to just have fun with this awesome game. For the most part, this is a real feel-good game. I really dig it. Revered. Exalted. Wise. This is what we owls aspire to be. Over the centuries, we have worked hard to build up the respect that people have for us. And as times get harder, you too, as my student, shall carry the weight of owlhood upon your shoulders. I can see that you are already a fine young owl, Otis. In time, I will mold you into the spitting image of myself. Ooh, Otis isn't looking so confident. I don't know, a bit thumb twiddly there. Ah oh, man, already this graphics. This is so 
like SNK levels here with the grass floofing and Otis's fingers there and his little twitch. Such good stuff. No need to look so nervous. This is a great moment for you. Despite being born as a mute, under my tutelage, you will become one of the pillars of our community. Well, I see there's plenty we will have to work on. Do not worry, I will straighten you out. Okay, boss. I... Cures to a great relationship as master and student. I'll be honest with you, Otis. You haven't been doing too well in your studies at all. So I've been thinking that perhaps your talents simply lie elsewhere. So today we'll be doing some flying. I bet you've been looking forward to this for a while. Wow, this seems almost like it's kind of addressing the player more than uh, Otis here, honestly, because uh, one of the touted things about the gameplay in this game is there's a lot of flying. Like, right from the start of the game. Look at Otis! Yeah! He is so into this. I, I, I love how expression... How many expressions Otis does, like... He is such a character, despite being a mute. Like... I, I, I don't... I, I mean that with absolute respect to, you know, actual mute people. Like, the thing is that a lot of games with uh, silent protagonists are criticized... For plot-heavy games with silent protagonists are criticized for uh, having a, um, you know, it's like a disconnect from the story. Like, it's kind of like a bit of personality-less to have a silent protagonist. Definitely not the case with this this protagonist here. Otis is fantastic. He's, he's so great. He's, he's so good and he's so expressionable despite his, uh, despite his, his, his uh, his uh, speech impediment that he was born with. Now let's carry on. Good, then listen closely. All you need to do is to jump off the ground. Then, when you're in midair, spread your wings and flap them. The owl cloak I gave you should take care of the rest. So these people are owls. This uh, In this setting, the owls are these... Uh, Humanoidish owl bird people, kind of like um, sort of kind of like uh, what the ah oh man, forget what the people in uh, Wind Waker were called, Medley's people, the bird people, you know. Uh, except these guys have these cloaks, which give them the gift of flight, and they're not actual flightless birds in some sense. Let's let's give it a go. Go, Otis. Show me what you can do. So then, very simple. There's a jump option in this. And if we start controlling with the left stick once we are in the air, we can simply fly. I believe you can also hit jump again in the air to just activate flight. But the left stick is very convenient. Just get get yourself moving around. It's pretty intuitive. It's, it's really cool how um, simple flying has been made in this game. All right, you're flying. Now, try and move around a bit. See that platform up there? Oh, on this uh, spindly, thorny plant. Okay, that's kind of odd how that is there, but sure. Fly up there and land on that island. Then I'll teach you the real tricks. Okay, yep, so we have free range of movement when we're flying. Check how cool. So let's get up there. Get... Get up the... Get... Okay, I guess we're not that free brain jump They're all. Oh, dear. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Lotus, that was some terrible flying. I have to say, I'm really disappointed. Most students pick this up instantly. Oh, the frowny Otis. Oh, I see what I mean that how, like, how much he, uh, conveys in this game with just his expressions. It's thanks to the just stellar art in this game is what does it. Tomorrow we'll go back to normal studies. It pains me to see such inept flying. Oof. Okay, well that didn't impress him. Let's try this time. Quickly, Otis. People need our help. Oh, there's trouble in Veli. 
The drought isn't as patient with your sluggishness as I am. Why have you left the water jug on the ground? Pick it up immediately. Hurry up. Oh, crap, there's a fire going down in uh, Velia. Let's uh, get on there. So, um, yeah. Whether we're flying or on the ground, we will get an option to grab objects with an L2. There we go. Hang on. You've been sloshing the jug around. Let me check if there's any water left. No. Oh. Put the jug down here. Oh, cool. Uh -huh. We get an option if we really want to. We can also throw objects. So let's uh, try to get it on. This seems like a bit of a low angle. Let no! Oops. I told you to put it down, not to smash it. How are we supposed to bring water to the villagers now? I will not forget this. And I will make sure that the others are aware of what your incompetence has cost us. Do you understand? I cannot describe how disappointed I am in you, Otis. Leave me. I will bring water to Valley myself. Oh, this has been a horrible, horrible f opening, hasn't it? Otis, you have failed me again and again and again. Today, there are no lessons. All you need to do today is talk to the other villagers. Simple enough, right? Even for you. Have them tell you what they think of you and your ineptitude. Don't come back until you know what you have done. Oh god, this is, uh... This is, uh... Doesn't feel good! Kind of feel the eyes on me. Hello, how's you doing? The truth about you? Are you sure you want to hear it? Oh uh, no, I don't want to hear this. I think I, I think I can survive without knowing this. You want to know truth? You mute wouldn't be able to tell anyone anyway. No, stop it! This is like a. This is like that nightmare sequence in the forest in Snow White at this point. I do not like that sequence. I'm getting a uh, bad feels. Why so nervous, Otis? Of course, you have every reason to be. Ah! Oh god! This was supposed to be a fun game. What have I gotten myself into? Oof. Oh. Oh, it was just a dream, and our teacher actually loves us and is a caring and responsible uh, teacher, right? Otis! Otis! Finally awake, are you? Ugh. We are going to be late. Good thing I came here to wake you or you would have slept for another hour. Get out of bed immediately and meet me outside. Okay. I think uh, it was part nightmare, part... Uh, part uh, internalizing... some actual events that happened. What we just went through there. But yeah. I wasn't kidding about being able to fly. Here we are in this house. You wanna fly around? No problem. We uh, just use the stick to move around. I think that's really daring uh, design in my, you know, my humble opinion, because this is like, in a lot of games, this would be a late game, um, like, ability. And uh, Owlboy is, um, it's, uh, it's, uh, I think it counts as a Metroidvania. It's a lot lighter than other, like, examples of the genre. You know, I, <laughs> having beaten, beaten Hollow Knight uh, earlier in 2019, I can definitely say Owlboy felt a lot lighter in that front. But, like, it still absolutely has, like, Metroidvania feels to it. The exploratory platformer. So the fact that you have such a powerful ability as flying right away, it's pretty neat. 
Let's uh, have a drink. I don't know, it's, it's still boiling, this kettle. I don't think I'd want to drink this in real life, but let's chug it. Hell yeah. First, uh, first little upgrade there. Well, I, I guess this is a temporary upgrade, right? We will get permanent health bar upgrades later on, but this one I think is a temporary. Oh man. Oh, this music. Mr. Jonathan Gear is the one who provided it. Good stuff. Ah, the scenic sky islands of Veli. Otis! Don't zone out! Get up here! Oh, that's so fun! Like, uh, cause, like, that was kind of like us zoning out, just marveling the beautiful pixel art. <laughs> what, a, what a fun little thing there. Alright, guess we gotta fly! Yeah, so you can't actually, just by pressing up on the left stick, you can't take off with just doing that. Uh, kind of a weird thing to me a little bit. You have to do a little hop, at least. Maybe it's in the options, I, I don't know, but... Uh, 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 I don't think there's anything about... Yeah, I, I don't think so, so... You have to jump and then start controlling. And if you want to land, you just hit the jump button again. Bonjour! About time, Otis. We will be keeping watch over Veli today. There have been pirates about lately. You know the drill. Report to me or the guards if you see anything suspicious. Any questions? No? Then get to it. Oh! Showing off there a little bit. Teach over here. So yeah, right away. This liberating feeling of uh, freedom. Look at the music swell as we get to exploring. Let's get this right away. We get a little bit of cash when we uh, mess around with these flying rings. I don't know why. Uh, well, actually, it's kind of explained in the plot a little bit. Ooh. Nice. I don't know if I got those coins on my first playthrough. Didn't know that you could pick that box up. Yes, there will be objects to discover. I'm gonna keep our eyes open for things like these. Ooh, yes, like a treasure chest. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, right, right away. This first time this took a little bit of getting used to, this flight. But, uh, not a whole lot. And now it feels... I haven't played this game in a few months, but, uh, it's all coming back to me. Alright, this is, uh, standard health is picking up these, uh, turnips, whatever these are, these root vegetables. And we can get some temporary health if we want to, that's kind of a nice touch. Oh, except looks like we got a cap on our temporary health. That did not increase it. All right, good to know. Ah, more treasure. Let's get that. Ooh, bongo. Uh oh, I broke that big bongo. Well, like I said, Metroidvania. You can totally tell we're supposed to go through here, but right now we can't do anything. We do have, I think. Yes, we have a little spin attack already. That's our main mode of attack for the moment. But, uh, as you can see, not exactly getting work done over there. We also have a dodge roll. That's gonna be useful as well. And the fact that you can use it in the air, again, kind of a big deal. Huh, can't get through these spider web blocks either. So let's just connect, co connect, collect some rings. Ooh, 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 ooh. And I said I was getting used to the controls, but here I am. Lobbing about like a goof. This cash will absolutely be worth it. There's a couple of really good things to get with this stuff. Now let's try to be let's try to be systematic. I I'm all pen careful like that. I gotta sweep this area from left to right as we head upwards. Now this game, yeah, I. I I mean, you can see with your own eyes how beautiful it is, but just ignoring just the quality of the pixel art, it has got this Sky Island setting going on, which I love. I Sky Islands are just one of those, like, fantasy concepts, which just makes me give a huge, huge thumbs up. It uh, does not stand up to very much scrutiny, does it? <laughs> Unless it's, like, humongous islands, but, like, you know, tiny islands like the one over there you see in the background is... Uh, eh. Maybe don't exactly stand up to scrutiny, but um, 
Who the heck cares when the concept is so cool? I love the idea of living on Sky Islands. I probably wouldn't love it in real life because, uh... Not a huge fan of heights myself, but... Let's see. Higher, Veldi Plaza. Lower, Otis's residence. Huh. Gets nice of them to demarcate where Otis lives, I guess? Although maybe... Maybe I'm, maybe I'm reading too much into it, but it does seem that Otis lives beneath everybody else. Whoa! What the... Whoa! Hmm. Does that count as suspicious, Master? Should I... I, I saw a weird flippity flip just flit through there. Alright, let's see if eating this... ...does not increase our bar, so let's not uh, steal whoever has this farm patch. Like what I was saying about realism, like, um... I know if there'd be enough nutrients in a tiny island like this to sustain a farm for very long, but uh, oh my god, I I hate I, I I hate myself already for nitpicking about something like that. Like who the heck cares? Honestly, <laughs> it's the the concept is too much fun to really go on about that. Hello, aha! I believe I missed this island on my first playthrough just because I. Didn't realize you could get to it already. I like saw this cordoned off area and I thought, mm, maybe, maybe we'll come through it from the other side or something. Nah, it's just, it's just a moment to teach you that there are sometimes hidden passages. Let's get that cash. There we go. Oh man, nice big budget already. Blink, blink. What's this one say? Valley Plaza, Otis's residence. So let's keep it up. So. I always, when I get a chance to talk about my finishness, I always take it. So, uh, even though it has really nothing to do in this situation, let's have a lesson in the Finnish language. So, uh, so Otus is straight up Finnish, which means like it's kind of a cutesy, cutesy word for a creature. So, I guess it'd be like critter you could translate as Otus in Finnish. Which I think is a nice little uh, coincidence, because, uh... Otis in this game is a cute little critter. I haven't checked, Otis might be... something in some language which relates to owls. Not in Finnish, not specifically to owls. I mean, owls are cute critters, so you could totally call an owl an Otus in Finnish. Honestly, the word for owl in Finnish is even cuter, it's a pölle. I love that word, pölle. <laughs> so, um... Personally, I think you should just talk about Bölle when you're talking about owls in Finnish. Owl boy, that would be like Bölle poika in Finnish. What a, what a fun name. Even in Finnish. Yeah, I'm, I haven't looked into that, but I'm gonna guess that uh, Simon Andersen was not thinking of his uh, neighbors over here in Finland when he uh, came up with the name for Otis. Um, the, don't really see why, honestly. <laughs> um... This is really uh, Mr. Andersen's, Simon specifically, his brainchild, this game. Like, it, obviously it's everybody's baby, of the people I mentioned. <laughs> no doubt about that, but like, uh, from what I gathered, it was really uh, Simon Stafnes, Andersen, and uh, Juremi Madsen are the two, like, the big, 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 like, driving forces for this game. The other guys are free to chime in and tell me if I'm wrong on that. I don't doubt that you, everyone loves working on this, like, everyone had the passion for it, but, like... Who was, like, the, uh, the progenitor of this? I understand it was Mr. Andersen. Huh, there's a cool little ruin. But nothing really to do except to admire it, wondering it. What's that thinking noise? A lot of thinking around here. Hey, buddy! All right, now we're getting into Veli proper. Veli is, in fact, a village, not a uh, region per se. I guess it's also the region, but, you know, it's a it's this village where there are other people. Look at this guy, he's so happy. I, I love this character. You're gonna hear me say that about a lot of characters in this game. Hey, man, keeping watch today? Maybe you want to do something later? Out is in Getty, the unstoppable team! Hey, maybe we should take that trip to Advent today. Hey, let me know when you're done for the day. I'll be here fixing this cannon. Gotta be prepared for anything, right? Yeah, you do that, Giddy. Um... It would, uh... 
help if pirates showed up. Like, that's what our master talked about over there, about pirates sighted. I, you know, cannon is the standard weakness of pirates. That then, ninjas. Let's, let's bother him at his work some more. Oh, by the way, there seems to be a troublemaker around Valley. Well, if you see that rascal, come get me, all right? Otis and Getty, keep birds of peace. I think I like the ring of that better. Ah, oh, man, Getty is so good. He's so much fun, this character. Okay, soon done here, Otis. I can't wait to go to Advent. I should totally shop for a new blaster pistol. I'll let you know once I'm done here, okay? All right, we'll better leave Getty to his work here. I don't know if that is a reference to Mr. Getty Lee of... Oh, God. Rush? With one of these... Oldie-goody bandies? Oldie-goody bandies? He's... What? what? Oh, my God. I'm feeling so idiotic. What, what band was Getty Lee in? Uh, anyway, I really doubt uh, Getty in this is a reference to that. Just like I doubt that Otto's is supposed to be Finnish. Because I don't remember him making any references to 80s music, Getty, in this game, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna vouch for that. Hi, little Lotus. Looking for pirates? I think I seen some. Saw them west at Lookout Point. Maybe check it out. Also, there'll be troublemaker around village. Is not you, is it? Somebody is stealing my bongos. Don't be slacking off now. All right. I think. What is this guy's? I forget what this guy's name is. We'll find out if we walk into this house. I think it says it. We'll just talk to him a little longer. Hmm. I think I need new bongos. Maybe I'll get some in Advent. Big bongos. Maybe little Otis will go there someday. Ah, really good world building going on already, because we've already heard Advent mentioned twice, and it being like a place where you go shopping. You get the feeling that Veli is like this little backwards town, like a little tiny out-of-the-way place, because it's not very big, as we'll see in a second. So immediately you get the feel that, okay, Advent must be the big city where you go down to when, uh, when you need to go for big city business. Let's go in here. Bombo House. Okay, I thought for a second that his name was just, uh, just Bongo, just like the Bongos he likes, but no, it's Bombo. There's a fun little detail. This is fun. You can make your own music. They all have a different sound to them, a different pitch. Also, props to the soundtrack. I think this song only plays in this one house where there's really nothing to do except jump on these bongos, so, like, wow. Talk about effort. I am gonna have to go and buy the soundtrack to this game at some point. It's on my to-do list, but I haven't got it around to it yet. I'll try to remember to do it once we're done recording today. It's really good, guys. Every everything about this game is good. Well, I... Hmm. Some of the uh, gameplay I thought was a little... Yeah. Which, uh... I guess is, some would say, is kind of bad for a game, you know. Uh, <laughs> that gameplay is the lowest point. The gameplay, is, for the most part, is great, but there's a couple of parts I think kind of are a little obnoxious. <laughs> a little hard to control some parts. Um, but uh, I, if you're new to my channel, I dig story, presentation, just like themes, mood, and all that, just as much as I dig gameplay. Obviously, I will have if I don't. If I feel gameplay is lacking, I will normally call that out in my videos. But like, I abs I'm, I'm one of those people who is like the the game can make up in other departments if the gameplay is 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 a little off at times. And I feel like this game really does it. Ah! Oh my God! I forgot that where I live. <laughs> this uh, this hot springs hot. You owls sure are hard working. Strix's students are scared about keeping watch all the way from Advent. And here you are too. I prefer to relax in my hot spring. <laughs> you seem to be struggling with the heat, my boy. 
Let me teach you a little trick to deal with it. Ah, feel that? It's all about accepting the scalding water. Relax in it. Soak in it. Give it a try. There you go, lad. Never forget to take your time to relax. Take it from old Toby. He's a relaxer. Boom, he did not laugh, even though... Now look at that! This this freaking hot spring gave us our first boost in health. That's fantastic. We still got a little temporary health left, but uh, 